In this universe sandbox video, we're gonna be terraforming Venus. So here we go, we got Venus here. And once again, the rules are we're not allowed to change anything in its properties, but we're allowed to use any of these tools that we have in here and down here. But we are allowed to change the atmosphere in here just because there's no way to change that any other way. To start on Venus, I think we're gonna wanna adjust the atmosphere just because it's so thick. Venus is actually the hottest planet, even though it's not closest, Mercury's closer. Um, so this is what it looks like without an atmosphere. So if we go to surface, we can change the atmosphere mass. We're going to want this to be about one Earth because uh, Venus and Earth are very similar in mass. So you can see already that helped a lot. We can already start to see some of the surface and that'll also help cool it down. So if we can speed up time, we'll see that the temperature. So it's actually not dropping. And I think that's because of the atmosphere layers. So if we go into here, we can actually turn this down. Let's do let's try 10. Uh, we want the average temperature on the planet to be around 30 Celsius, maybe a little bit less. We'll try seven or let's do nine. See how that works. Okay. That's stabilizing around 28, 29. So that should be pretty good. Okay. So already we got a, we turned Venus, the hottest planet into a very comfortable temperatured planet. Um, if we go to here, we can already see there's a little bit of a chance of life already just from adjusting the atmosphere on it. So now we're gonna wanna add the water. And in the last couple episodes, we've used asteroids, but I think in this one, we're gonna wanna use material. So if we go into tools and material, we can actually shoot water onto the surface like this. And you can see that added a lot. And we'll shoot some on the back. Let's turn on the view so we can see it. Shoot some back here too. Perfect. Watch that collide. This is a lot easier than using those asteroids. There, and then after that hits, what we can do now is go into the water settings and just click settle water, which will evenly distribute it over the surface. So it's like basically if we just sped up time and let all the water settle. And that already looks very, very good. Let's check our life likelihood now. We're at 28.5, so let's see if we can get that a little bit higher. Um, one of the things about Venus is it rotates very, very slowly. You can see rotational Rotational period is 243 days. So one day on Venus lasts that long. And Venus is actually the only planet to turn clockwise. Um, every other planet rotates counterclockwise, but if we speed up time, we can see it actually rotates clockwise. So to try to get that uh, rotation to speed up, because what that's gonna cause is one side of the planet's gonna heat up a lot faster. So um, we can try throwing something to try to speed it up. Um, what's something that's not gonna be too bad? Let's do a random, actually let's do a random asteroid, but then shoot it pretty quickly. So if we shoot it like this, turn the speed up in the motion tab to about, let's do 100 kilometers per second. Might have to shoot it a little bit faster, but we'll see if this affects it at all. 224 so that did help a tiny bit um i don't want to destroy the planet too much but we are going to need that to be a lot faster oh okay well it went and hit let's see how that affected the that did a lot of damage to venus here poor venus motion 514 days so did we just somehow make it longer I'm confused how that made it spin even slower. It's still in orbit. Okay, well, we basically killed the planet. Yeah, we're at 0% life likelihood. So let's see if we can fix this. Let's see how this works. We want it to be faster. That should spin it some. Oh yeah, that's exactly what we wanted. You can see it went to seven days. So that'll be perfect gonna go up a little bit as these particles hit it but that spun it really good let's check its orbit though okay it's still in orbit this is gonna work let's do another one of those but not as big because Pluto is very big okay 6.5 about I think we'll stick with that because this is gonna be hard to make it go any better check its orbit still in orbit okay perfect so now let's redo its atmosphere Okay, and I wanna leave like this yellowish atmosphere on there, maybe a little bit more yellow, just to like give it that more of a, a Venus-y feel. Cause I don't want them all to just look exactly the same as Earth. Okay, 
Um, and then for clouds, I'm going to want, I think I want some thick clouds. So let's do storm on both of them. And then coverage and opacity 100%. So yeah, this has got thick clouds. And Venus actually has yellow clouds. So let's get that cream color on there too. Okay. This looks like it's working better now. Okay. And set a water. Okay. That looks a lot better. Let's turn off the atmosphere and clouds. And we can see we got a lot of little islands. So this will be like a little island area. A planet with a lot of islands, vegetation, and city lights. So you can see the vegetation is going to grow in some of these areas. And on the back, oh, let's turn off flashlight, go realistic. We should be getting some city lights. Yeah, there we go. Um, and let's change some of the colors here. And maybe the vegetation a little bit more yellowish. Like there. So if we add clouds and atmosphere back. That looks pretty nice. So that's what Venus is going to look like. And if we check the final stuff, we got 62.6% life likelihood, which is very, very good. All right. So here's terraformed Venus. Uh, let's rename it to Island Venus and let's change that interface color to be more vibrant. I think maybe like there. Yeah. Okay. Let's save this object. So here's our island Venus, and now in the system we got the terraformed moon, too. We zoom in here and check that out. And we also have the terraformed Mars. Check that one out, too. This one looks the best, I think. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more Universe Sandbox content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.